From Hollywood. Catchy, right? I love it. It's the Tom Likas Show. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. I never thought of you of all people. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. You know, there are stories where I don't advocate what someone did. And the story I'm about to tell you about, let me just say right up front. That what this person did was horrific. It was wrong. And he deserves, should he be convicted, punishment to the fullest extent of the law. I don't want anyone during this hour saying that I advocate what this man did because, number one, you are innocent until proven guilty. Let's start with that. So these are allegations only. And number two, just because I'm reporting something to you doesn't mean I support it. It doesn't mean I'm in favor. And I don't want anyone calling in here and saying that I favor this kind of behavior. I'm, I'm, I'm making it known right up front that I don't favor what this guy did at all. This is from the Victorville Daily Press right here in Victorville, California. Armed with a knife and lurking in the dark, Thomas Lee Rowley, you know this guy's going to be the alleged troublemaker when you see that the guy's got a middle name, Thomas Lee Rowley waited in ambush to reclaim what he thought was rightfully his. Do you know what it was? Can you guess? No. Uh-uh. No, you'll never guess this one. His former girlfriend's breast implants that Rowley paid for. As his former girlfriend stepped outside the back door of her mother's house in Hesperia, Rowley, 28, stabbed her six times in the head and torso. That's the picture painted by Deputy District Attorney David Foy on the first day of testimony in Rowley's trial for attempted murder of ex-girlfriend Shannon Perry, age 26, on July 25, 2006. Rowley's former roommate, Dennis McGill, testified to a more sinister plot for the stabbing. McGill testified that Rowley wanted to take back Perry's breast implants that he paid for. I'm going to cut them out and get them back, McGill testified that Rowley told him. The breast implants were punctured during the attack and were eventually repaired. Rowley was arrested the day after the attack and faces several charges that include the attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon, stalking, burglary, and false imprisonment. Now, let me reiterate, just so you morons don't call in here and start saying that I, I, I was in favor of this action. Should Mr. Rowley be convicted... He should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Violence is wrong and must be punished. I don't care if they call it domestic violence or just plain violence or violence against women. I don't care who the violence is against. Violence is wrong and must be punished. And I want to be right out front of the parade and saying that if this guy did what is alleged, he ought to be thrown into the clink for a long time. But having said that, ladies, how many of you have gotten a boyfriend to pay for your implants? And this is the one that I know you'll never call and admit to, so I'll just say it out. How many of you got a boyfriend to pay for the implants and then had sex with somebody else? 
or got a boyfriend to pay for the implants, and then you just left him. And then you're with somebody else. How many of you have laughed about it? <laughs> what a maroon. I got that guy to pay for my implants. Then I ditched him. <laughs> How many of you have done that? I'm just going to say what I say every time I see a story like this one. What this guy did was wrong, but ladies, if you do this kind of thing, this is a possible outcome, and you had better be prepared for it. You better need those implants very, very badly. Because you never know when someone is going to go postal on you and your implants. You don't know. Now, on this program, I've been telling men for years, never pay for your girlfriend's implants. Never pay for your wife's implants. Number one, if you need to be with a woman with large breasts, I recommend you marry or move in with or date that person. What is the point of finding somebody to be with and then making this kind of a physical change? If I want to be with a woman with big breasts, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be with a woman with big breasts. I'm not going to be with a woman with an A cup and then send her to the surgeon. Half of all marriages end in divorce. I'd uh, imagine a much higher percentage of relationships, dating and otherwise, end in breakups. Buying breast implants for a girlfriend or a wife is simply wrong because it is my belief that when a woman wants to get breast implants paid for by you, that in most, though not all, cases, in most cases, that woman is looking to get attention not just from you but from others. Let's face it, you love her, you got with her, maybe you married her. You never said to yourself, well, you know what, I love you, but I'd really love you with a couple of D cups. You know, you took her the way she was. There is no need to make this kind of expensive change that's going to result in her wearing tighter fitting outfits, more revealing outfits, so that uh, guys who are generally strangers will be slobbering all over her. makes no sense I have a real problem with women who ask men to pay for their breast implants by the way ladies it just plays right into my favorite stereotype and that is that women are the cheapest creatures on earth this is your surgery women always love to say well, I didn't get them for him I got them for myself I got them because I wanted to feel better about myself then pay for them yourself don't be getting him to pay for them get a job get up off the couch and pay for them this is for you, then you pay for them. Why should he pay for them? I think you're a fool to try to get him to pay. I think he's a fool for paying. And in extreme cases, ladies, what happened in this story in Victorville, what is alleged here, could happen to you. Now, how likely is it? I don't know, but it's a risk you're taking. It's a risk you're taking. It's like the story we have talked about so many times. The woman who says, I'm pregnant, and you're going to live up to your responsibilities. There's nothing you can do about it. So the boyfriend comes and blows your brains out. I mean, don't say there's nothing he can do about it. There's nothing he can do about it without being in prison for the rest of his life. <laughs> but there is something he could do, and you never know. It's something he might do. You know, remember that uh, family that uh, got torched recently uh, during Christmas time when the ex-husband showed up dressed as Santa Claus and had a homemade flamethrower and shot a little eight-year-old girl in the face after he had everything he'd ever worked for, whatever little he had, taken from him in a divorce? Shooting an eight-year-old girl in the face. Horrible. Setting a house on fire with all these innocent victims in there. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Thank God the guy killed himself. If he didn't, he should have gone to prison forever and ever and maybe a couple of lifetimes. Wrong to do it. But sometimes you really, really push people. You know what I'm saying, ladies? You really push a guy. And I think a lot of women are are just 
stupidly led to believe that they could do anything, get away with any scandalous behavior, and that they'll be protected. And you may be protected by the law, you may be protected by your rights, but if you push somebody to the brink, you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know. And with the economy the way it is right now, money tight, people afraid of losing their jobs, I think people are getting to be even more irresponsible and crazy right now. You want breast implants? Pay for them yourself. Am I wrong? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's the Tom Likas Like Show. Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That was shorter commercial breaks. Fewer commercials, more phone calls. We take them faster, bigger variety of topics. A West managerial interference. <laughs> it's getting better all the time. Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hey. Yeah, I had a buddy uh, moved up to Idaho, meets a girl, gets married, adopts her son. They never tell the kid that, it's, that he's not the father. After a couple of years, gets her, a, a, you know, a, a rack, and after racks in, has a buddy up from Arizona who uh, they all get in the jacuzzi, they all have a good time. Two weeks later, she le- takes off with him to Arizona with his, with his buddy, leaves her kid with him. He's still got the kid. She's still got the job. This is why I tell you, boys, if you're married, forget about the hot tubs, forget about the swinging. This is exactly the kind of ending you can get. Yeah. He regrets it. But, you know, he's better off without her, you know. That's the woman. Yeah, but uh, now he's without her, and how many thousands or tens of thousands of bucks? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tom. Well, you have a good day, man. You too. Thanks for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lisa. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. All right, the last minute hang up there. Mark on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom Likas, Mark, how are you? I'm okay. Good. You know, this topic is such a crucial thing because it's an insecurity thing. If you're insecure enough to buy a girl some, you know, boobs, you're going to get burned because there's going to be a lack of respect On just bottom line, she's going to have some leverage on you. It's a foolish move. As far as the horrific crime, oh my God! You know, if if somebody got their hands cut off for doing what that guy did, we wouldn't probably even be talking about it. Well, uh, again, I I couldn't advocate this kind of crime. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. And uh, if 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 this man did what was alleged. I hope he goes to prison for a very long time, if not forever, whatever the maximum punishment is. Well, you know, that's the thing. Our maximum punishment in the United States of America isn't really that maximum. Well, that's not what we're here to talk about, though. We're not here to talk about sentencing guidelines. We're talking about whatever guidelines there are, whatever sentencing is available. I hope that if he's convicted, he gets the max. Having said that, any woman who goes to a guy and says, Come on, Eddie, I want boobs, and then he pays, and then she leaves him or starts banging around with other guys. He's he's a sucker. (laughs) He's a sucker. Bottom line, he's a sucker. Well, the guy shouldn't do that. They just no. shouldn't do it. No. No. You know what? If it's your wife and you, she's had three kids and her breasts are, you know, messed up from, of course, you know, the kids, you know, all the, you know, kid stuff, then that's a different story. But, you know, for you to just buy some breasts because you want some candy for another person, it's exactly a backfire situation, you know. No doubt about it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Mike of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I have to tell you, I agree with you 100%, and I think this is a very critical and important topic, and that is that men have a breaking point. And I don't care where socioeconomically you come from, your level of education, sophistication. Men, all men, can be pushed to a point where they snap. And I feel that this is really very important to talk about and very important for women and people in general to know you push someone to a point and this is going to happen. 
happen. Not to say that it's right, but it does happen. That's uh, why we never have a productive conversation about this, because people love to money up the issue and say, what are you saying, he had the right to do that? You're saying he had the right to kill you? You had the right to take the president's plans out? You think he had the right to... No, I'm not. I'm saying it's a risk. It's like, as I always use the analogy, if you drive your car, your beautiful luxury car, to the wrong part of town, and then you uh, open the door, leave the keys in with the engine running uh, to go in and pick up a Slurpee at the 7-Eleven, when you come out, the car will probably be gone. Now, do you have a, do they have a right to steal it? No. Were you a moron for making that possible? You bet you were. Exactly. And we legally we call that the assumption of the risk. And unfortunately, when you're dealing with you know hideous crimes like that, you know you don't really have a chance using that as a, as a plausible defense. But I do think that it's, it's, it's critical. doubt about it. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Doing okay. Hey, I, I just have a, a little bit of a, maybe a tip for these guys who, when their girlfriends ask them to buy them boobs. That's, so that's, that's a TIP tip, right? Yeah, TIP. Okay. This, this, this is up. Uh, this, this is what happened when my when my girlfriend asked me to buy her a pair. You know, I told her I will buy her a pair as long as she can guarantee me for the rest of her life. After we broke up, whoever she's with has to send me a birthday card and a Christmas card with twenty bucks in it saying thanks for the boot. Well, of course she couldn't guarantee that, so she bought her own, and I've been enjoying them for the last three or four years. Right, and then when she leaves, there won't be any hard feelings because she paid for them herself. Absolutely not. She, you know, no hard feelings whatsoever. You know, maybe for, I'll feel bad for the next guy after they got all those miles on him, you know, but hey. Good points, Ryan. Thank you. Randy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. What's going on? I, I just had a quick question. I, I wanted to ask how much these implants cost that these suckers are paying for. Well, it varies. I mean, uh, you know, generally the number I hear is about three grand. Wow, three grand. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> he was rendered speechless. 1-800-5800-TOM. Ricky on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, hi, Tom. I just wanted to share with your audience, especially the women out there, um, had a situation where a guy, one night stand, married, successful, three children, uh, one night stand, had a baby. Okay, the girl refused to get rid of the baby. Wife, of course, found out about it. He lost his lost his children, lost his home, reputation ruined at work, uh, which affected him financially. And he went to pick up the baby on a visit, poured, um, what is it, nail polish remover, which is flammable, right. on the baby, set the baby on fire. Yikes. I mean, horrible, horrible. But I just want to say to women, I don't understand why you would want to have a child by somebody you don't know, let alone not married to. But this was a one-night stand. So when people are desperate, they do crazy desperate That's right. Things. And that doesn't mean they have the right to do them. It doesn't mean they shouldn't be punished. But when you push somebody to the brink, I think about that story that happened during the holidays when we were all on vacation and hanging around and enjoying our holiday. And when that ex-husband dressed as Santa Claus showed up at that home with, what were there, eight people inside? That's right. And, and just set the house on fire and all those people died and they were burned exactly. beyond recognition and they had to use dental records to identify them. You know, maybe you don't push so hard. Exactly. I don't understand what's happening with these women. You're trying to force these babies on these guys. Now, okay, yeah, he had responsibility. He was married. Okay, he was cheating, blah, blah, blah. But you don't bring another life into the world and play games like this. And he set this baby on fire. The baby didn't die. However, I mean, it's disfigured for, for life. Right. So, you know, hey, ladies out there, think about that when you're trying to, quote, unquote, trap a man or bring a baby into the world. So thanks for your time, Dad. So, uh, thank you so much, dear. I really appreciate the call. Come on, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show.
The Tom Likas Show. Now heard every Saturday from 2 until 6 p.m. Every Saturday. Oh, yeah. And Monday through Friday from 3 to 8 p.m. as you head home. At 97.1 FM Talk and BlowMeUpTom.com. If you can't hear us on the radio, go to BlowMeUpTom.com, click on the Listen Live button, and poof, here you'll be. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Ann on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, hi, Tom. Yes. Uh, I, I listen to your show, and I get a little upset because sometimes, well... More than more, more times than not, you say that it's women's fault, or not always, but women push men to do horrible things because, like that man that set those poor people on fire, and you're saying that he was pushed by a woman? Again, I think uh, when a man has had everything taken away from him in a divorce, she may have the legal right to do that, but I think she takes a risk. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, no. she does. In that particular case, Sylvia Pardo is dead. So is her whole family. So don't tell me she's not taking a risk. She took the ultimate risk. She took the guy for everything he had, and he came back, and he, he burned the house down. So every man that gets a divorce... I don't I did, think I, I didn't use the, I, you, you're the one who put the words every man in there. I didn't say every man. I said it is a risk. Well, even that last woman that called about the one that put the baby on fire because of, uh, you know, that's that's horrific. And you're saying, well, yeah, she he was pushed to it. That's a risk you woman. take. That's a no. risk you take. No, not yeah, it point. is. Not sure, it is. Just like, somebody. just like, no. well, yeah, it is a risk. Just like if I left my car parked with the engine running and the door wide open, I run the risk that somebody will steal the car. Do they have the right to do it? No. Should they be punished if they do it? Yes. But I'm running a risk. And I am a moron for allowing somebody to take advantage of me that way. I, no, and it's I the same it's right. thing. I never I said it was right, ever. No, and in no, fact, I took great is, pains during this show to say yeah. that I think, in this particular case of the story in Victorville, that if this guy is guilty, he should be convicted to the fullest extent, punished to the fullest extent of the law. But having said all of that, when you get a man to pay for your breast implants, and then you break up with him, you skip off, and you're out there with other guys, you have taken a risk. Not to the point where he he is pushed to to destroy her. And, I, I'm and not saying it. Her. I'm not saying what he did. What he did was reasonable. I'm saying it's a risk you take. I don't think it's right that you say the woman pushed him to do Why it. Why not? Because she didn't. Well, again, I you, have, you are I running this. And let's say you were standing in, with a guy. Let us say yeah, you're not going to uh, you're not going to bully me in this conversation. We're going to have a dialogue here. Let's say that uh, you were trapped in an alley by a guy holding a gun to your head. Now, uh, you, you of course uh, you could scream for help, but you'd be taking a risk that he'd blow your brains out, wouldn't you? In isn't, isn't that right? I didn't push him to come on. You're taking a risk. That's it's a risk right. you're taking. Oh, I don't, I don't care. It's responsible. a risk you're taking. I, you just don't have the logic to understand or accept what I'm saying. Every time you take a man for every penny he's got, every time you get a man to pay for your breast implants, then you're out having some other guy feeling you up, you are taking a risk. That doesn't say the guy has the right to hurt you, but that doesn't mean he won't do it. And you are taking a risk. What I'm saying is, it's no, right what you're saying is you are confusing. No, you're not letting me you are, no, I'm not going to let you finish either because I'm tired of it. It's like arguing with an ex-wife, and I've had my fill. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Tom. Yes. Yeah, yeah that, that, that lady that, uh, that just finished talking, I mean... She just wanted to get her point across, but she made no sense at all. Of course. Because, uh, yeah, because I mean, again, she kept making the same illogical point. Illogical. That's correct. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm embarrassed to say, but uh, I was one of those uh, that got my uh, girlfriend a boob job about 10 years ago, you know, just to get a piece of tail. Uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, get out of it. Uh, she did. Uh, she was nice enough 
to uh, give me uh, her pink slip at the end of the, of the whole situation. Uh huh. So that's just a live and learn. You know, you you buy her some boobs. Next next thing you know, she's out there wearing tight things and. It, it, it's it's just awful. That's what happens, David, and that's why I tell guys not to do that. Yes, uh, all of the guys do not do that. All you twenty year olds and whoever you are, you know, you might get all pussy whipped and all that, but do not do that. You're going to see that she's going to get she's going to be all happy, getting all this attention, and uh, she's going to leave you behind. I totally agree with what you're saying, Brad. On the top, like his show. Hello. He left at the last second. Shannon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? All right. Hey, I think something's got to be brought up about the status of the mindset. Uh, I'll tell you, we got to get a better connection. That's that's unlistenable. George on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Um, I just uh, had a quick point too. My name is George from Santa Ana. Yeah. And um, my point was, it goes the same thing for the dudes that let their wives get their stomach stapled. They have a lap band surgery, you know, and they lose, like, 70 pounds. And then next thing you know, they want to go clubbing or they want to go out with their friends to a bar. I mean, the same thing can happen, you know. Next thing you know, the chick finds another dude. Well, that can happen. Or, or the same thing for, like, like, the dudes who have kids early and, you know, and, and when their wife gets old enough to go club and they let her go out. Same thing. She's probably leaving for another dude, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm sure you're not that far from correct. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Emily on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. I totally disagree with Anne. I mean, it's an animal instinct. You know, if you push any, like, a cat or a dog into a corner, they are going to bite back. Same thing with human beings. No, the, the, look, the fact that it's wrong doesn't mean that you're not taking a risk. Exactly. I mean, you can't justify it. Obviously, I agree with you on that. But you push a man into a corner to expect that he's not going to bite back is just absolutely illogical. You're fooling yourself. And when you add on to that, the type of woman out there that likes the bad boy. But you know what? how <laughs> bad boys got their name? They do bad things. Exactly. I mean, maybe it's a classic example of a woman that's attracted to the wrong kind of man for her. But in any case, I mean, I think this applies the other way, too. You know, if a man runs up gambling debts and his wife pays it all off and then he goes off and cheats on her, what are you going to expect? I, I definitely agree. You're taking a risk. Or how about the uh, guy who gets his college education paid for by a woman who's there? You know, helping him pay and staying up at night making coffee for him while he studies for his exams and what have you. Then goes out and bangs somebody else. Uh, yeah. You're taking a risk. Yeah, I don't think this is a man thing. I think this is a people thing. Right, except the breast implants are, are a woman thing and paying for them well, is a man thing. All right, well... If I can make a comparison, you know, if I pay for my husband's liposuction, which is the same kind of physical enhancement, right, that makes him more attractive to the opposite. Uh, if, if I, I would love to hear from one woman out there who paid for her husband's liposuction. <laughs> I would, too, but I'm saying if that were the case, he, he, you would expect he, the same reaction. Like, like those commercials they have for Lexus during the holidays where they have the big bow tied on top of the car? If you can yeah. find me one woman who bought her husband a Lexus for Christmas and paid for it with her own money, I'd like to know her name. All right. Well, you have a good day. I'm uh, just saying. I You're right. <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. Let's say hello to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Mike? Uh, I mean, Tom. Not much. Hey. What? And, uh, what? All right, one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Lisa, the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Here, the follow through to that. So, hi, Tom. What? I wanted to just ask you a question. So, what you're saying is that if you push a person into a corner and there's potential risk there, then it it. You're not saying it's justified, but you're saying it's a reasonable thing that could happen, right? It's, a, it's something to consider. It's a, You should okay. consider that and factor that into the equation when you decide to corner someone. So let me ask you a question then. Um, what about what about women, for example, who are 
you know, they've had children, they've been loyal wives, they've been there for their husbands throughout everything, and they get older, they might put on some weight, and so the man has an affair and leaves her, and she's pushed to the edge, just like Betty Broderick, you remember her? Well, uh, the way it usually ends up for men is, uh, yeah, they're taking a risk, but the risk they're taking is the woman will take everything they own. Uh, and yes, occasionally somebody will uh, set the bed on fire, set the house on fire, pull out a knife. That's definitely a risk. And what about the woman who was married to the dentist and ran him over in a parking lot? I mean, I kind of felt sorry for her. You know, what's the woman to do? Well, wait a minute. You felt sorry for her? I don't feel sorry for the guy with the breast implants. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what happened with the breast implants. He didn't have a right to do that, and she didn't have a right to run over her husband in the driveway. What about, but you're saying that a man will do what a man has to do if he's I'm saying, to the I'm saying a man will, and the, the examples you're giving, a woman might, but the woman is no more justified than the man. And do you hear that subtle difference? That, that you, it's not even that subtle. Yeah, yeah, on the one hand, if a man does this, it's bad, but if a woman does it, you feel sorry for her. No, I'm not. I don't feel sorry. Why would you feel sorry for a woman? Who's, I don't feel, I didn't why would you feel sorry for a woman who drives over her husband in the driveway? I was being sarcastic. I don't feel. You know what? The bottom line is that it. I don't think that it's a matter of it, you take a risk. I think that people sometimes yes, think and they're mentally ill. Yeah, but yeah, but, like but you never know. Man. You never know if you're dealing with the mentally ill. And I might say. Uh, that although it's controversial, some people fall in love because of their uh, idiosyncrasies or their mental illnesses or their uh, penchant for being uh, uh, explosive. And so do men. They love psycho women. That's what you always say. Well, uh, because psycho women are the best in the sack. Yeah, that's what but you But that's, like that's why I tell guys if you're going to go there, don't, you don't want them to know your name or where you live, and you don't want to marry them. What about the, with the guy, the Bobbit guy? Again, same thing. Yeah, so so what do, you, what do we all do? Just stay, I know what you're going to say, just stay single forever, right? So don't be marrying people. Don't be making promises you probably won't be able to keep. Yeah. And, well, don't, and, don't, and don't ever buy a, a pair of boobs for anybody you're ever dating. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like is 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. We're talking about a guy in Victorville, California, right here in our backyard. Oh, well, was very, very upset, according to prosecutors and police. He, um, according to the authorities, stabbed his ex-girlfriend six times in the head and torso in an attempt to get back the breast implants he had paid for before they broke up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Willie on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's going on, Tom? How Not you been? much. Doing okay. And I do care, man. Yes. Hey, Tom, I want to let you know that you're right, and all these women listening, you know what? They are taking a risk. Me, myself, I used to be one of those guys. I didn't take it that far, but you know what? My my ex-girlfriend did happen to leave me. She was cheating on me behind my back with her first love, and uh, the day we did decide to break up, or that basically she decided to break up with me, she left with my kids. Moved out of our apartment, went straight to her house, and uh, I went straight over there, went in her house. She was, you know what? I was actually kind of like spying on her. Went over there, and I was like stalking her. You women, listen to what I'm saying, because I did go over there. I was kind of like, you know, seeing what's going on, because something weird was going on. Was listening to her window, through her window, and she was actually talking to uh, one of her friends about her cheating on me, that she's been doing this and that behind my back. So I went inside, I confronted her, told her that I heard what she had said, and I grabbed that phone and I wrapped it around her neck, you know? You know, I don't mean to laugh, but you know what? I get pumped up when I'm saying this, you know, because it, it got me mad, you know? And it's not the point. You know, I didn't, I didn't have that much money. And, you know, for this guy that did this to his family, you know, with blowing that girl's, um, shooting that girl in the head or, or torturing the family, you know what? If it was a matter of uh, money, his family, I don't know. But with me, it was the point of, you know what, she's going to take my kids away like that. Now nah, I'm not going to play this. I, I, didn't, I wasn't a good father for her to just do this over one night, take my kids away like that. 
So then here's what happened, Tom. She called the cops. The cops came. They seen bruises in my, on my face because, you know, she managed to scratch me. And, uh, you know, the next the next day, the cop, the cop told her to go to uh, court, get a restrainer on me. So she did that. That pissed me off even more. And uh, you know what? Uh, I, I, I know you don't believe in God, but I do. And uh, something told me, you know what? Just chill out. Things are going to get better. And uh, for sure, everything got better for me, Tom. But you know what? These girls got to watch out. That's it. Well, I agree with that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I don't agree with the whole thing, though, all that stuff you did. Hello. Let's say hi here to uh, Mary on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Listen, um, how long was this uh, guy in Victorville with this woman, with this girl? Uh, it doesn't say in the story. Okay, because I was going to say, okay, I had a similar pro I mean, my boyfriend did give me a boob job, beautiful, by the way, and I was together with him for 10 years, and we, when we broke up, he wasn't, I mean, he got his money's worth for 10 years. I mean, come on, 38 double Ds? Yeah, but again, I, again, uh, that, that that's fine for him. And uh, believe me, most people are not going to be faced with their ex boyfriend trying to cut their breast implants out uh, with a knife. But but the point I'm making to you is, uh, most relationships don't last ten years. That's number one. Number two, why should any man pay for a woman's breast implants? Uh, they're they're fools. Well, it's because they want to play with them. They want but again, them. why not just why not just date a woman who's got nice boobs? That exactly. That's what I say because I already have them. So you know, you know, if paid for by someone else. Exactly. But I'm, what I'm. I mean, do, is, do, how often do women pay for their own? It, it seems to be a rare oh, occurrence. Oh no, I, I paid for my own nose. I had. I'm, a I'm nose talking job. about boob jobs. Oh, I know. Well, yeah. I, well, I was a friend that paid for hers, and she just danced, and she paid it off, and within like a month. Oh, she went to work as a stripper after she got the implants? Right, right. That's what yeah. a lot of girls do. Well, that's, that's again, exactly why guys shouldn't pay for them. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Katie on the Tom Like His Show. Hi, Tom. I wanted to respond to something that Anna was talking with regards to the things that you say. Maybe instead of saying that people should be, you know, prepared that there's going to be repercussions... You well, I actually say said, that, I, that what I, the words I used was I said you're taking a risk, and you are. Well, if people are normal, ordinary normal people don't respond. If you were with an ordinary normal, normal person, you'd still be with him. Don't you understand? <laughs> you, you don't break up with ordinary normal people. You break up with people you've got a problem with. No, people grow and people change, and no. they break up. And the normal response should be... That you talk about it, you agree. I, well, we're not talking about it. coulda, woulda, shoulda. We talk about what is, okay? What people should do isn't always what they do. The guy, uh, the, the guy in uh, uh, the, the, that case where he dressed as Santa Claus and set the house on fire uh, during Christmas time, uh, that oh, that guy should have had a conversation with a therapist and he should have sat down and gotten some counseling and he should have talked to somebody. But it doesn't matter what he should have done. He didn't do what he should have done. He did what he wanted to do. And what he wanted to do was to uh, have an outlet for his rage. Well, and it, it probably comes from people, he's one of those who called after Anna that says that you have to give your wife permission to have lap band surgery. Your wife shouldn't have to have permission. We are all individuals, and we should be allowed to do... Well, women love to say that, but how often are they willing to pay for the lap band surgery, the boob jobs? Uh, you know, it's, it's amazing to me uh, that, that women want the right to spend money any which way they choose, and uh, they, they don't have to have earned it. Well, there shouldn't be repercussions for things that occur. When I said that them. at the beginning of the hour. There shouldn't be. But the fact that something shouldn't happen doesn't mean that it doesn't. Wow. Do you understand that? Oh, I do understand it, but I think things that there are shouldn't said be, You know what, darling? There shouldn't be an earthquake, but one day the big one is coming and your house is going to fall on top of you. Okay? Uh, that shouldn't happen, but it probably will. Right. 
right. But I think what Anna's point was was when who cares said, what should hey, happen? Who cares prepared. what should happen? You know what? If I leave my door unlocked at night, no one should come in because I should have the right to leave my door unlocked. I should. So if somebody comes in the middle of the night and they shoot me and take all of my things, they shouldn't have done that. But by leaving the door unlocked, I took a risk and somebody took advantage of that. Can you understand the distinction? Oh, I totally get it. What I'm Who saying cares what should wrong happen? With society that we I t- I, we're not here to so figure wrong. out what's we're not here to figure out what's wrong with society. We're dealing with what is. Well, I don't know. I just think it's really jacked up when people can't have a relationship because you have to worry about what's going to happen. You can have a relationship. You shouldn't get married, and men shouldn't buy women plastic surgery. Women do buy things, just so you know. I I was a very good money maker all of my life. I didn't have again. To get food. We, we again, you know, we're, we're, attractive women generally think that they're owed everything, and they they want men to buy stuff for them. Well, then that's something wrong with the parents that are raising them. Well, but nothing I can do about that now, is there? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Frank on the Tom Likas show. Hello. But Father, how are you doing? Doing great. This is Frank the Tang, long time. Yes. Hey, I gotta tell you this. Um, remember I called you before I've been married a couple of times before, two times to be exact. I'm 34 years old. I got, like, my last time I got divorced, it was three years ago. But, uh, I purchased the books for my ex-wife. And, uh, before we did, I made her sign a contract saying that if we ever had to split, she had to pay the full amount of the boobs. So when we got divorced, I lost a little bit of my house and other things I had with her. But, I mean, I got the $8,000 back <laughs> of my, uh, my boobs, man. So at least you felt good about that. Heck, yeah. Unbelievable. All right, Frank, thanks a lot for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com. Don't forget, every Saturday, the Tom Likens Show, 2 to 6 p.m. 2 to 6 p.m. Saturday. Be there every Saturday. It's the Tom Likens Show.